In this video, we will discuss about factors and multiples. We will also briefly talk about the highest common factor and least common multiple. I will definitely create a separate video on these two topics. But for now, let's concentrate on factors and multiples. So stay with me until the end of this video. Do you have any idea what factors mean? When we say factors, these are numbers multiplied together to get a product. The product is the target number. For example, if we have to find the factors of 18, we need to look for numbers when multiplied together will give us a product of 18. We can do this by pairing. Starting with 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, 6 times 3, 9 times 2, and 18 times 1. From this pairing, we can clearly identify the factors of 18. We have 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18 itself. Another way to find the factors of a number is by listing. Let's say, for example, you need to find the factors of 24. By listing means you simply list down the divisors or exact numbers that you can use to divide 24 with no remainder. Let's start with 1. 24 divided by 1 equals 24 with no remainder. 24 can also be divided by 2 by 3, and by 4 with no remainder. How about 5? If we divide 24 by 5, we'll get 4 remainder 4. So 5 is not a factor of 24. Moving on to 6, which exactly divides 24 with no remainder. 8 is fine too. 12, and of course, 24 itself. So the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. So earlier we learned that the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Study the factors of 24 and 18. What are their common factors? When we talk of common factors, we are referring to the numbers that are the same for both 18 and 24. What are these numbers? We have 1, 2, 3, and 6. And when we say highest common factor or HCF, we only need to look for the largest or the biggest number. Among 1, 2, 3, and 6, the largest number is 6. Therefore, the highest common factor of 24 and 18 is 6. There are a few things to remember when finding the factors of a number. Every number except 1 has a factor of 1 in itself. A factor must not exceed the given target number. It means that if you're looking for the factors of 24, the maximum number or factor must only be 24. And for the factors of 18, the maximum number or factor is only 18. In other words, factor is limited only up to the target number. This time, let's talk about multiples. How are multiples formed? Multiples are formed by multiplying the given number by the counting numbers. Counting numbers are the usual numbers we use when we count, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So suppose we are looking for the multiples of 6. It's just like looking at the 6 times table, starting with 6 times 1 equals 6, 6 times 2 equals 12, 6 times 3 equals 18, 6 times 4 equals 24, 6 times 5 equals 30, 6 times 6 equals 36, 6 times 7 equals 42, 
6 times 8 equals 48, and so on. Another way to find the multiples of a number is by repeated addition. For example, if we are to find the multiples of 8, we can start from 8, then repeatedly add by 8 to get the next multiple that would give us 16, plus another 8, that is 24, plus 8, this would be 32, plus 8, that makes 40, plus 8 is 48, and plus 8 is 56, and so on. Looking at these examples, we can conclude that multiples of any number is infinite or endless. So let's check the common multiples of 6 and 8. 24 is common for both 6 and 8, as well as 48 is also a common multiple. But when we talk of the least common multiple, or LCM, we're looking for the smallest number. And in this case, the least common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. Before we finally end our lesson, let's try to answer the given exercises. Find the factors of 12 and 30, and identify the highest common factor, or HCF. You can always pause this video should you need more time to write the factors. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and check your answers. The factors of 12 are obviously 1 and 12 itself. 2 is also a factor. 3, 4, and 6 as well. The factors of 30 are 1 and itself, of course. That would also include 2, 3, 5, 6, 10 and 15. The common factors of 12 and 30 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. And among these numbers, 6 is the highest common factor. Let's try working on multiples this time. Fill in the blanks with the missing multiples. Here is set A, set B, and set C. I think just by looking at the given numbers, you can easily tell the missing multiples. Shall we check the answers? For set A, the missing multiples are 6, 24, and 42. From the clue, it is clear that this set shows the multiples of 6. For set B, the missing multiples are 27, 36, 45, and 63. This set shows the multiples of 9. And finally, set C. The missing multiples are 15, 45, and 90. So there you go. It is pretty easy to distinguish factors from multiples. Without a doubt, I believe you are able to identify all the missing factors and multiples.